Hi everyone. So this is a tutorial on how to upload your template to create the Magic Iris, otherwise known as the Moving Shutter Card Mechanism, to create those interactive cards. What you do is after you've purchased your template, you go to Cricut Design Space or Silhouette, whatever you're using. I use Design Space because I have a Cricut Explore um, Air 2. Um, once you're in Cricut Design Space, you will upload the file that you want to use right here. And when you upload SVGs, this is how they come out. It doesn't come out for print and cut. It just comes out as a cut image. You click Upload. And then from there, you'll add your file to your canvas, just like that. Now, once your file is uploaded to the canvas, you will see that it comes in as one piece. What you need to do is you need to ungroup it. Now that everything is ungrouped, oh, let's try that again. There we go. So now that everything is ungrouped in regards to these pieces, you want to make sure that everything is completely ungrouped. So these are the blades for the iris. This is the mechanism that you connect the blades into. This is the part that locks everything down. And then you have other pieces here at the bottom. So now everything has been ungrouped and is separated, but you will see that there are cut lines that are no longer on the pieces. Like see here, you have these two little semi squares and here are the ones that belong on this one. What you need to do is that you need to make sure that everything is attached. So what I will do is I will highlight the pieces I need to have attached. Bottom right. Now you will see that they are attached. When you don't do that, when you go to make it, you will see all these little pieces here. Oh, you can't see these ones too dark. But you will see the pieces that are supposed to be on your blades will be separate and you don't want that. Those are the pieces that you will bend up and connect into these holes to form your magic iris or your moving shutter card. So again, with all the pieces that you see here say basic cut, but they're not attached to anything, you will attach them. And you go all the way down until everything is completed. And if you're not sure things are attached, you just go back to make it and make it will show you. So here I am, I'm attaching everything. So all those six blades now, when I go back to make it, you will see that now everything is attached. Same thing over here. These little white pieces will be cut out and this is where these little panel pieces fit in. So you wanna make sure that they are all attached. So you will take that and you will attach everything. Now to make things simpler too, I um, also have to do that with this circle. Attach everything. There we go. And here there's really nothing. These are top pieces. Now to make everything simple because um, I want my magic iris just to be one color, I will just make everything white. I go up here and click white. I go down here and make sure everything's white too. So now on my canvas being ready to cut, everything on my 12 by 12 is the same color and I will have all my pieces. And that's basically how you upload it into Cricut Design Space. When everything gets cut out, you will have several circles, like one here, one here, one here, and one here. Those circles in the middle, not needed. You don't have to attach them or anything like that because when they come out, like if I ungroup them, this is the middle of your iris. These extra little circles are where you would stamp your saying or they help you to uh, figure out the size of the photo or the clip art that you want to place in the center. And so what I do is I like to just you know store them in a shelf or in an envelope or something like that. But once again, it doesn't matter if they're attached or not. They're irrelevant in regards to assembling the iris. And there we go. So that's it. So that's the basis for the magic iris. 
and how to upload it to Cricut Design Space.